Howdy ho neighbors, Radio Goji here. And I'm Zoilin, Greg. And welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we were in the middle of uh, collecting uh, pieces of heart, skulls, all kinds of stuff. Well, actually, they're just those two things, really. Um, but uh, we're going behind this waterfall here to get the second piece of heart in Gerudo Valley. And um, if I can get back on that, I think I can get back You're going on chasing edge. waterfalls? Yeah. You're supposed to stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. The river will take me back to the lake, so... <laughs> Ah, TLC was wrong. There's a piece of heart behind the waterfall. If I can get back on, I can, I can get back onto this ledge over here. Right? I probably shouldn't have jumped off of that. I can get back on there because there's actually a skull tour over here. God, remember the the '90s when like R&B and pop acts were writing like maudlin songs about the AIDS crisis? Boy, those were the days. I never really picked up on that. Squeeze because... the world gaming remembers. <laughs> It's just another one of those things I guess I never picked up on when I was younger, because I really never, I never really listened for meaning or anything in the, in um. Well, that's why I listen to death media. Metal. I don't know. In in many ways, um, it it feels kind of um, like like if somebody tells me to watch a movie because it has like a some deep meaning behind it, I'm like that's not why I watch movies. I really don't. It seems it's kind of, you know, pretentious to me. Uh, I, you know, it's it's whatever floats your boat, honestly. Yeah. And and it's it's and to an extent, you know, having your brain like it it varies for me. Like the the thing is, I will read books. I will read books to have my mind expanded, and I'll also read books just to to be entertained. Um, I mean. I certainly, you know, the things that I write and the things I would like to write, uh, given enough time and income, uh, certainly tend towards the entertaining. Insta I am, I am a genre hack. Um, but yeah, no, I like, I like, you know, thought-provoking books. But I think that the people who who read them are still reading them for entertainment, regardless. So. I guess. And welcome back to the lake. So we pretty much. Do we have everything that we can get in the light world? I, I know I keep Damn referring. It. Sorry, I know I keep referring to it with linked to the past terms. It's fair. I apologize. That's fair. It's it's basically okay. N sixty four linked to the past. We haven't been on Death Mountain. We haven't gotten everything we can on Death Mountain yet, or in Zora's domain. I don't think. Okay. Um, we got everything we can get in the Lamont Ranch. See, there's that little icon oh, next yeah, to the name. Oh yeah, the little skull spider. Uh, I know there was just like the one Skulltula and the two pieces of heart in Gerudo Valley that we can get to now. Uh, we did like Hylia. I think we can get everything in, in Hyrule Field. I mean, all the Skulltulas at the very least in Hyrule Field if I can find where all the grottos are. Okay. Uh, um, I know there's at least like one other grotto I think that has a little Skulltula in under a tree or something. The the bigger the bigger more wide open spaces are usually a little bit more uh, challenging to remember, but oh yeah because I mean, there's big empty space. But there's always like less than you remember that's there. Big big high roof field. I remember when I was uh, when, I, when I last played through the um, the 3DS version. I remember mm -hmm. getting like two or three skulltulas and like that was all that was there. I couldn't even tell you how many skull tools I got the first time I played this game. It was not a lot. The main thing I remember on that front, I, I mean, I did have all 100 skull tools on my file when I was done, but that's mainly because I looked up guides and then went back through and 100% of the game, like, after the fact. I have never been the guy who feels compelled to 100% the game. I think the only game I have ever 100%ed is Mario 64. Yeah. I used to be that way, like, all the time. I mean, even up to, like, fairly recently. It was mainly when I started, like, really focusing on my backlog these past couple years. Mm -hmm. um, when I was just basically at a point where I was like, yeah, like, I'm just going to get, like, a basic clear and then I'm done with this game. And then, like, I'll decide later on if I want to 100% or whatever. I mean, there's still, like, a list of games that I have uh, where I do want to 100% them eventually. Like, Dragon Quest XI mm -hmm. and Hyrule Warriors. Um... But for the most part, I'm just like, you know, the basic clear should let me know if it's, uh, I guess, fun enough for me to do the rest of. Mm -hmm. But I used to be like a like a super completionist, like, all the time. Well, I, I remember. Younger. 
I never even caught all 150 Pokemon. And now, I mean, God, there's so many Pokemon, I could never catch them all. I never caught them all legitimately until, like, a few years ago. At least on Red Version, when I had the Virtual Console. And that was only because uh, I traded with Jordan uh, to get all the ones from the Blue Version. I even got Mew for, through Glitch. Um, nice. I don't know if you count that as legit. Would you count that as legitimate, I guess? Oh, sure, why not? I mean, I also got... Um, My entire stable of missing nose agrees with you. Uh, Tauros was another one I actually had to get it, because I was just so sick of the damn Safari Zone. And everything running away in that, especially fucking Tauros. Link just running away from the fairy. He knows what's coming. It's like, I was able to get Scyther, I was able to get Chansey, uh, I was able to get, like, the other one that's really rare in there. I wasn't able to get Tauros, because it kept running away, because it has such a high speed stat. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Cinnabar Island glitch to get Tauros. Okay. I don't even know what the Cinnabar Island glitch is, unfortunately. Um, it's been that's... a long time since I've played Gen 1. Basically... I thought about picking it up on the 3DS, actually. It's not a bad... Uh, good, old, good old Pokemon Blue. Were you a blue or a red? I had red. I had blue. Like I got, I had red because you had blue. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Because yeah, we, we were friends 20 years ago. Yes, we were. Oh, I think there's one over here. But uh, I, well, I, well, I did do have uh, Red on my 3DS. I played that. I was kind of on the fence about getting it. No, this is not where Sculptal is. Um, cause after playing uh, the the Gen 3 remakes of the Gen 1 games, I was like, I really can't go back to this. Cause yeah, it's kind of like, I mean. And this is an exaggeration, a, a major, a major exaggeration, but a glitchy, unbalanced mess. Um, I mean, I always remember Pokemon Blue being pretty fucking easy, but it, it certainly was not balanced. In no, any if way. you get Alakazam, you win. That's yeah, pretty much basically. It. That's why they. I was literally gonna say, you get that one psychic dude, and he just pwns everybody. And uh, that's why uh, when Generation 2 came around, they introduced the Dark and Steel types to balance out Psychic because of... Uh, and they also, you know, got rid of any glitches and oversights like lack of damaging moves from its weaknesses uh, to make sure that, you know, other things stood a chance against Psychic. It didn't do particularly well, but um, it was a, quite a bit more balanced. Is there something... Oh, it's a hole within a hole. Oh, no, it's a shadow. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but okay, the yeah, thing about 100%ing games these days is, like, I have to like the game enough to play it multiple times. And half half the time, too, if you run it, like, truly 100% the game, you'll give the developer, like, $50. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's even without getting into the stuff like the big franchises like I'm, Assassin's Creed. I'm Spring, sorry, where I, there's... not the developer, the publisher. Yes. Where there's like three different DLC packs, but and in the last few years, the only games that I have liked enough to play like multiple times in a row, boom, there we go, are the Dark Souls games. And um, while I'd love to get a platinum in one of them, there's always either a ring or a spell that you have to collect that requires you to not just like dip into New Game Plus, but to dip into like like. Uh, the original one, there's a particular spell that you need to go to New Game Plus Plus in order to craft, because you need... Is it New Game Plus Plus? Yes. There's actually a New Game Plus all the way up to Plus 7 on Dark Souls. What's on the, original the difference? Dark Souls. It gets harder, basically. Oh, okay. Enemies do more damage, and you do less. I, I, I was thinking, like, when, when Chrono triggered it, because Chrono Trigger was the first one that called it New Game Plus, even. Um, you could do New Game Pluses off of New Game Pluses, and it would just still be a New Game Plus. But, yeah... Dark Souls has, uh, in that game, it's, um, that you have to craft, you craft boss souls into different weapons and spells, and you have to get all the boss weapons and all the spells, so it, it, I think it's Sif, the, the wolf, that you need to fight three times and get three copies of its soul to craft, like, either the last boss weapon or the last spell. Having that kind of New Game Plus system is, a, is actually a pretty cool idea. Um, it is. To, if you keep like making it harder, that that gives it a lot of replay value, I would imagine. And um, Dark Souls 2's new game plus even not a not a lot, like not a, a earth shattering in any way. Um, 
uh, amount, but I've played some of Dark Souls 2's New Game Plus, and it does, unlike the original one, it does actually add some things. Um, it, it Mostly it adds tougher enemies in earlier areas of the game to throw you off balance from what you think you would be expecting. But yeah, no, it's always a, a good thing. New game. New game kiss. Um, I know a lot of the Zelda games kind of have a new game plus. It, well, not really a new game plus. It's that's the uh, it's more of the uh, the hero modes or whatever. But I guess depending on the game, it could be considered better or worse. Like I remember when I got the uh, 3DS version of this game, and it came with that ma with that version of the Master Quest on there. I thought the Master Quest was worth the price of the game alone. But then like. When, I, when you, like, unlock... I unlock hero mode in Skyward Sword. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not going to play this again, let alone in a hero mode. Yeah, the thing is, like... Every... F I, I complained about this before we started filming. Every, like, fucking video game is so involved and wants so much of my time now. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to actually finish The Witcher 3, like, unless I just sat down and did nothing but play the main plot through the game. Because even that is, like, 40 hours long. And my mom lent me, um... My mother lent me her copy of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey recently. And holy shit, is that game just a mess of both way too much shit and just too many, like, horrible AAA live services design decisions. Like, literally the first thing that happens to, happened to me when I booted up the game was it shat out two different advertisements for different things I could buy. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually... Like, I'm like, fuck you, game, I hate you. This is the worst first impression you could make. I'm actually very surprised to learn that your mom had a copy of, of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, let alone any video game, really. Yes, my mother plays video games now. Uh, my my mom, her the very first video game she's ever beaten in its... Uh, has ever actually beaten is uh, Far Cry 5. Huh. She's very particular about what she likes, though. She hated she hated Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, mostly because you make choices, and she doesn't like making choices in the video this, game. The nice. That was funny. She doesn't like making choices in the video game and then not seeing what happens when you make the other choice. Um, she didn't like Doom. I let her borrow Doom. I let her borrow Resident Evil 7, and she hasn't tried it yet. I started Doom on the Switch, but I couldn't really get into it. She fucking loves Dead by Daylight. That is, like, her game. But she only ever plays Survivor. She never plays Killer. Because she's... I don't, I don't understand. She's, she says she's no good at the first person thing. But she plays Far Cry 5. I don't, I don't get it. But enough about my mom. Tell me, using only good words, <laughs> positive words, tell me about your relationship with your mother. <laughs> I'll tell you about my mother. Blam! You tell me what movie that's from in the comments and like and subscribe, you'll get absolutely nothing! You'll get good job. <laughs> you'll prove to me that you're not a replicant. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our little Voight Kampf test, you and me. Oh, hey, he sells a red shirt. I really need his BAMs. I'll buy 30 people. Well, why not? We're going to get all this money back soon. I anymore. think I'll take your explosives. I don't know. <laughs> um, I know that there's some stuff we can get up on the top floor. I think there's a sculpture in there as well. Nice. Um, and while we're here, this motherfucker. That's mean. Why would you call me that? <laughs> My fault. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a bomb is a good guy with a bomb. See, if we stop him under here, he'll give us a, um, a bomb bag upgrade. Oh, okay. Why there specifically? Because there's a sign here, I guess. If you try to do it anywhere else, um, but anywhere that's basically not under this little darker pathway, he'll say, no, you don't get shit. Or, 
I think it's like uh, they said the S word <laughs> in a Zelda game. No, uh, they said it's something like, Why did you stop my rolling here? If I had bomb chews, this would be a lot easier. But I don't have bomb chews on me at the moment. Didn't we see a bomb chew shop? We did. We can come back. <laughs> yeah, I think that one's gonna be a do off camera type. Uh... No, if I if I get bomb shoes, I can just like launch it right at him. Also, I bought thirty bombs, uh, and I can only hold twenty, so that's my bad. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> it's that guy holding the the lemons, except it's all bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold all these bombs. And it's right back to the flex tape jokes. There's got to be a better way. Don't swift here. For this joke we already made in the last session. That's a lot of cringe. Uh, crap. Well, at least we have plenty of bombs to get through this bullshit. Oh god, I think I remember this. You have to. It's like a little maze. Yeah, it's a maze. And at the end, um, there's a there's at least one gold skull to land here. Um, and then you can all there's also uh, chests with rupees. One is a necessary but not sufficient number of skull tulas. I know there's like big like two hundred rupee rupees in here, but uh, I'll save those for for later. Oh, there we go. That's not what I told you to do. There we go. You piece of shit. We should have enough, actually, for the uh, the giant's wallet. 39! Damn! 39. More bombs you can't carry! Oh, no, it's money. Money! <laughs> I was about to say, money! 50 more monies. Excellent. Are there more behind these rocks? Yeah, there's one that has, like, a like a, like a a uh, gold rupee, which is 200, but... Uh, I meant skull tulas. Oh, no, I don't think there are now. I think about it. Um, I think that might be all the skull tools we can actually get in the light world right now. I like how the light world is childhood and the dark world is, is post-puberty adulthood. Is that too real for you? That's too, that's that's real. <laughs> that's when video games stop being toys and start getting real. Money. Link has to go back to Hyrule Castle and sift through the uh, the family's things and listen to uh, to audio tapes of Zelda to discover what happened to them in this deep, narratively important video game. Actually, just to make it so that we haven't even gone 40, Hyrule. Gone Hyrule. Finds out Princess Zelda was a lesbian the whole time. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, actually, though, there's one right here. Let's say to make it an even 40, but... That's why... That is why uh, Link uh, goes for fish now. So I think... Um, other than that, like, the, the one... Uh, there is one Skulltula I can get still in here. But, uh, well, again, I'm saving that for later. So I think this might be the... Uh, last one I can get for the moment. And that's good, because that brings us to up to an even 40. So nice. we are uh, eligible for the next three prizes, which are the Stone of Agony, uh, which is basically when we have the object. It looks like a Rumble Pack, uh, or an N64 Rumble Pack. And when we have that, if we're near Secret grotto Grottoes, it'll make the controller rumble. Oh, very good. Um, Not that we need it. <laughs> uh, there's the, uh, the Giant's Wallet, which can hold 500 rupees, and some bomb chews, actually. Oh, excellent! Well, we could have used those. So we can head back up. Up and down the mountain, please. Coming down the mountain! That, can I play with madness? No. No. It sounded a lot like that. Oh, House of Skaltula. Curse has been <laughs> broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And Stone of Agony. Secrets. <laughs> Secret rumbles. Alright, you give us bomb shoes. Bomb shoes. And 
you give us the uh, giant's wallet. I don't think you should steal a wallet from a giant. Well, the giant's not gonna care. He doesn't. It's not like he knows that you did it. And then once um, they get, we get fifty, this guy will sure hook up a piece of heart. Oh, nice. And then the central one takes that, the full one hundred. He gives us the uh, the source of infinite rupees, basically. So, just to, I know that it's a long trek back up. I just want to get this out of the way. Oh yeah, bomb chew the bomb chew the, the, the guy. I just noticed that the um, does the Deku shield seem flatter to you than normal? How so? Like it seems like very very thin. Like it used to be. I, I remember it being a little bit more defined. Like. Huh. Polygonally? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's like a glitch or something, or maybe I just remembered it wrong. That could very much be. I'm, st I'm still kind of used to the graphics from the 3DS version, in all honesty, at this point. Because the 3DS no, version... You see, the, your, the dimensions of your shield changing is a metaphor for Link entering manhood. I thought Link becoming, man be, uh, becoming a man later was... The becoming man right you would think that, but that's uh, too obvious. <laughs> obvious themes are for 8th grade book reports. This is subtle. It's the subtle brilliance of Ocarina of Time. Fuck How many Solo. times can I make a sound in a sentence about this game? And it's subtlety. And it's subtlety. It's subtle secrets. All right, my dude. Showdown time. Yes. Can I play with bomb shoes? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come closer. Closer still. The fuck? He's like, hey, good job. Bonjour. <laughs> Je suis le He's also a very large Goron, I've noticed. That he is. He's even larger than the normal Goron. So now you can carry 30 bombs. You could have used that before you bought 30 bombs. Yeah, probably. And lastly, uh, there are a couple of things we can do around... Um, Castle Town. Oh, cool. Well, that's close to the uh, objective anyway. Yes. Yes, that's Hylian, these children are speaking. And no, these children aren't Hylian. They're American. <laughs> and they've acquired their amazing language skills with The Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. Muzzy the Goron. Whee! Oh. Whee! Before we even go to the castle town. But before opening package. <laughs> Damn it! We got checklists within checklists, y'all. Checklistception! Um, so what I'm gonna do is we still have the bunny hood. Okay. And the guy that we can sell the bunny hood to uh, to now is is basically that. You saw the, the running guy who was running around Long Island Range earlier? Yes. We sell the um, bunny hood to him. He wasn't. Um, he didn't. He doesn't show up until after you beat Jabu Jabu's belly. Um, uh, that's when he decides to go for a jog. That's when he decides to go for a jog. It's because he's afraid of getting eaten. Afraid and, of getting eaten. Apparently, is how I'm going to say that tonight. And when it's nighttime, uh, he actually stops running to take a rest, and that's when you can sell him the mask. And while uh, the mask, the the, uh, the retail price for the mask is uh, fifty rupees. Uh, he will give you enough rupees to completely fill the wa whatever wallet you have. Oh, excellent! Uh, so we're gonna get a shit ton of money. Not if he starts running! Well, we can turn the, um... We can turn back Look to the Look at that fucking moon. It's like, peace! <laughs> uh, and then once we have all those done, we... Basically, that's the, um, the mask side quest over and we get the Mask of Truth. Oh, good. The Mask of Truth is normally just used to talk to Gossip Stones, but we can also use it to get the second Deku Nut 
ammo upgrade. Um, the the Mask of Truth also tells you un unfortunate but true yeah. things. Uh, about yourself that you don't want to hear. <laughs> it puts it on, it's like, you are actually the source of most of your problems. He rips the mask on this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> no one actually loves you. You're only on this quest because you're expendable. You're a multiple time abuse victim. <laughs> and you <laughs> and you completely not internalize and you've completely internalized that and refuse to face up to it. Ganondorf was right. <laughs> Ganondorf is cooler than you. I don't know what he was right about, but... He was right. You're all supposed to be here to defend me from these people, and the only one I've got on my side is the blood-sucking <laughs> Ganondorf. Okay, so here he is. Oh, there he is. Sometimes he does yeah. take a bit to... Take a, take a, yeah, take a rest right next to the skeleton people. That can't possibly go wrong. He usually gets to a certain point, then he stops. Looks like he's going to deliver a little there Caesar's pizza. So let's... Hey, man. You want this hood? You want my bunny ears? I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices! Um... <laughs> genuine, genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend! The, the, the legendary rabbit? What, I, is it Bugs Bunny's ears? I don't care how expensive it is! Please sell it to me! <laughs> ah, that's that's the ideal video game consumer of 2019. <laughs> My lifelong dream, returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor stage and props have been united. It's 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. Go back to the uh, mask shop and pay, jet pack, pay back just 50 rupees of this money. And now he's killed by skeletons. But he died happy. And then all when when it comes right down to it, that's all that really matters. Exactly. Not filthy lucre. Not even rescuing the princess from the evil dusky foreign man. It's killing spiders. Killing golden spiders. That's what's really important in life. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Putin here, and then we'll never have to see the uh, Happy Mask Salesman ever again. For the rest of the game, anyway. Nice. We'll still see him later in Majora's Mask. It's going to be so much easier when I get a horse. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the real quality of life uh, enhancement, is, is getting a fucking horse. Yes. Kill him! Kill him, my child! Ah, uh, never mind. Fuck. Now we probably. Do I hear something out there? We probably could use this huge amount of money to um to buy the rest of the ma magic beans. In all honesty, but uh, we're also gonna we're gonna be using this money for something else. Bitcoin. Uh, Did I already make a series of Bitcoin jokes about Hyrule? Uh, no. Rupee coin. No, but um, you did make a joke about uh, investments that one time. Oh, yes. All the masks are sold out. And I now, knew I could trust you. Okay. And now you're sold out, too. <laughs> I got more masks down in my basement. I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Shaco. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. <laughs> Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus is the true meaning of life. Plus, we got there's more oh, more masks oh God. there. So not all the masks were uh, sold out, apparently, but we don't have to do anything with those if we don't Wait, want Wait, we to. can see people's thoughts? Yeah. Go see the mask guy's thoughts. Can we see his thoughts? I want to see what creepy shit is going I on I don't think that head. it works for shopkeepers, but I can try. One day I'm going... One day I'm going to kill all these people. <laughs> oh, which mask can I lend to you? No, he well, doesn't there's, care. There's... Oh, there's a Goron, a Gerudo... Wow. 
and that's actually the timer is about to go off. Oh, shit. Okay, well, now we've got a mask that allows us to plumb the inner depths of people's minds. I'm sure we won't find any incredibly disturbing things there. No siree. But uh, when we come back, uh, there's a mini game we get to play. Oh, we're not journeying into adulthood yet? Nope. There's the bomb shoe bowling alley. Yay! So uh, until then, I've been Rado Goji. And I'm Sorlin Greg. We'll be here next time. Join us, won't you?